So I wanted to make a quick video. Uh, this is one of my takeaways from the Brendan Bouchard event that I just went to this past weekend. So I'll tell you a little bit about what Brendan Bouchard is. That's my mom working out in the background there. <laughs> so Brendan Bouchard, um, when he was, I think, about 18 years old, he, him and his, his, uh, his high school girlfriend, they went to the same college together. And they ended up breaking up his freshman year. And he was kind of like devastated, you know, like that was kind of his whole world. And he kind of went into this little bit of a depression, didn't want to get out of bed. His friends were trying to get him to do stuff. He just didn't really feel like anything. And he said he actually started to plan his suicide, his, his escape. And it was, he said that the next kind of around that same time as he was kind of starting to plan that, which is insane. But I get, he said, that's kind of a common thing. He was in uh, one of his college classes and he was looking at one of the college papers and in big letters it said escape. And it was a, a trip to the Dominican Republic. It was actually a job opportunity for college kids during their summer to go down to the Dominican Republic. He was, he was from Montana, he was going to college in Montana and this guy that lived in Montana, uh, that was from Montana, owned a business in Dominican Republic, kind of renovated houses. So he interviewed, he got the job, and him and his buddy went down to the Dominican Republic for uh, the summer, and they were painting houses and things like that. And one day, at night, it was dark, it was starting to get dark out, his buddy was driving, they were in the car together, and uh, nice, she's got some good moves going on there. Some curls, I like it. Um, <laughs> some curl presses. So him and his, his, uh, his buddy are driving down the road, his, his buddy's driving, they're going, he said, like 70, 80 miles an hour. And it's a, you know, it's kind of a developing country, developing world. So not great signs on the roads. And he said they came to a turn that in the United States, there would have been kind of this U-turn sign, uh, you know, saying 15 miles an hour to take this basically a, a U-turn of a turn. But there was no sign and it was dark. So they went, as soon as they got to that point, his buddy just kind of, tried to make the turn, but they were going so fast that they went over the edge and rolled down off the road. And Brennan said it was all very slow motion to him. And he started uh, thinking about, it was, the first thing that popped to his head was him and his, his, now she's got some deadlifts. It was her, it was him and his sister on a, a swing. And it was, you know, those swings where like, we used to have in the backyard that you had the four kind of poles that like you'd cement into the ground and one always kind of wasn't really all the way in. So it was him on and his sister swinging. It was like, and that was kind of one of the things that popped in his head. And he kind of remembers like, as he, this is happening while the car's rolling and he, he remembers kind of like, as it was over, he, he just was thinking to himself, this was kind of it. And he asked himself three questions and he doesn't know where the questions came from, but they just kind of popped in his head and they were like, did I live? Did I love? And did I matter? And he remembers thinking to himself, did I live? Not really. Did I love? No, I was kind of all in my own head. Did I matter? No, not really. I was spending all my time depressed and just in my own little world. And he kind of thought of it as this second chance that he had made it through this crash and had this epiphany. And he kind of declared right then and there that he was going to live, he was going to love, and he was going to matter. He was going to make his difference. So now what he does is every morning when he wakes up, he knows, he sets the attention because he knows he's going to ask those three questions to himself at the end of the day. So every morning he sits down, he sets the intention, he visualizes living, loving, and making a difference. And he knows at the end of the day he's going to ask himself, did I live? Did I love? Did I matter? So that to me is something that I want to do every morning is sit down and really set the intention of I'm going to ask myself those three questions at the end of the day. Did I live? Did I love openly? Did I matter? Did I make my difference today? So that's something I would, it's a piece of advice for you guys. They don't have to be the same three questions, but when you get to the end of this life, 
there's going to be some questions you're going to ask yourself. And those might be some, those three questions. They might be something a little bit different. But whatever those questions are, don't wait to ask yourself those questions at the end. Ask yourself those questions at the end of every day. And start your morning knowing that you're going to ask yourself those questions at the end of that day. So you're going to set the intention so that you can answer those questions the way you want to. So again, did I live? Did I love? Did I matter? Did I matter? So go out there and live. Go out there and love openly and go out there and make your difference.